My name is Dr. Peter Zajos. I'm a neurosurgeon affiliated with Riverview Medical Center and Meridian Neuroscience. I'd like to talk about deep brain stimulation surgery. Uh, this surgery is used to treat patients with Parkinson's disease, essential tremor, and dystonia, uh, generally movement disorder uh, 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 issues. Uh, it's been done for about 20 years, and 80,000 patients worldwide have had the surgery. Uh, it's been shown to be safe and effective. Um, the the um, indications for the surgery are patients who have basically come to the end of their medical treatment. That is, the medications don't work anymore, or the medications have a very limited um, uh, efficacy. Uh, these are patients who have difficulty walking. These are patients with tremor. Uh, these are patients who uh, have, uh, have uh, suffering from a disease that so affects their daily lives that they can't even do, in many cases, basic tasks, like being able to, to go out, to go out to eat, to button their shirts and all that. So these are patients who are, you know, very severely impacted by their disease. Um, the surgery itself uh, is a series of steps, but the, the essential uh, key point is placing a thin electrode in a very, very specific part of the brain that can affect uh, the symptoms of this disease. Um, and uh, we have a patient uh, recently, doc, uh, Mr. Farinella, who uh, fit uh, the bill to a T. He had Parkinson's disease for 15 years. Uh, he found that the medications were no longer uh, working for him or working well. He stated that he would take two hours to get out of bed in the morning. And in fact, as, as I got to know him and he t described his uh, situation, he felt that he really had no life, that uh, everything about his uh, life was so severely impacted by this disease. Uh, his uh, surgery uh, was performed uh, late last year at Riverview. Uh, he had very, very gratifying results and uh, almost immediate results in that uh, he began to uh, uh, have significantly decreased tremor. He was able to get up and walk where he really wasn't able to do so before. Uh, and this all occurred even before the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, deep brain stimulator or pacemaker was actually turned on. And that happens in many cases where uh, just the placement of the electrode itself uh, is enough to disrupt uh, the circuitry of the brain that leads to these pathological or these disease conditions. Um, so in, in Anthony's case, it worked, uh, you know, it worked uh, quite beautifully.